David Liguori with Liguori Drag Racing. And I wanted to go over this data log with you and show you what I found. So this is a turbo customer for Fuel Tech, and he had a problem yesterday at the racetrack where the bike wouldn't two-step, and then he got it to two-step, and I'm going to show you what he did. And once he got it to two-step, then it wouldn't leave the starting line. So you can see this blue line here is two-step, and once the two-step releases, RPM doesn't gain. It goes stupid lean. This is the air-fuel ratio here. And I'm going to explain what changes I'm making, why it did it, and how we can prevent it. So if you come over here to the map under two-step, he told me that he had to add 63% of fuel to fuel enrichment on two-step to get it to even two-step. It wouldn't go up on the two-step before this. Um, it, it just wouldn't run right. So this 63% on the two-step is a red flag. It immediately threw up the fuel map is too lean because that 63% adds fuel to the main table. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to open up my fuel table overlay, here's my fuel table overlay, and I'm going to drag on the two-step, figure out where he was. So essentially, what I'm trying to explain is that 63% of fuel is added to this area of the map. And... When 63% is added to that area in the map, it's going to make the map all goofy. Because what is happening is I'm going to add 60%. So it's a nice even number. Click enter. And you can see that it, it's rich here, of course, and then it's going to go lean again. So... This is the one of the first passes on the bike. We don't really have a baseline of what it needs, what it wants, what it needs to go down the track. So essentially it's just too lean. So we need to add fuel to the fuel map almost everywhere. So I'm gonna add 1.6%, so 60% here. I'm gonna multiply that and that'll add 60% everywhere in the map up top in boost and at a reasonable RPM. This spot of the map really just doesn't get used, but I'm gonna add 60% anyways. So we got that covered, and I noticed that he had a issue on the burnout also. So when he was coming out of the burnout, it also went stupid lean. So I'm going, gonna look here and there's a lean spot here, so I'm going to add 60% here. And I'm going to vertically interpolate this here by clicking V. And then send to FT Manager. When I send to FT Manager, this is what the map looks like. And I don't really like these uh, these big uh, blocks here on this 3D table. And what that does is it just goes from running okay and then just super fat. So I'm going to vertically interpolate this here. So it's a little smoother transition. Now, since we added 60% of fuel to this fuel map, we have to go back to two-step rev limiter, and I'm gonna drop this down to 10%. So it, it's, it could be a little bit fat on the two-step and in the fuel map, but at least we can get this guy going down the track and 
we can get a baseline on this data log. Right now, his control limits are open wide open. So it's going to control up to 100% rich or lean. And at least he can get down the track like this. And we can get a baseline. And then we can tune the fuel map off of that. There's no... We can't tune the baseline off of this data log and get the fuel map remotely close without him going down the track. We can take a guess, and luckily we knew that he had to add 63% of fuel, so that's, that's gonna get us remotely close, but we have no clue how close it's gonna get us until he gets down the track. So I hope everybody learned something from this. Um, if you want me to do more videos like this, leave a comment down below, throw up a like. It really helps me and it really just motivates me to do more. So appreciate everybody watching. Thank you and I hope you learned something.